labaran duniya labaru da dimdiman su babu bangaranci cikin gida da kasashen waje unity kallan tashar unity tv barkamu da wannan lokaci da muka saba ka muku labaran duniya da farko a cikin muhimman kanun su gwamnatin shugaba buharita kamala aikin samar da wutar lantarki daya da tayi alkawari kafin karewar mulki na kwanta kara kudin aikin hajjin shekarar nanta 2023 za a dauki mataki kan komandan frsc mai son a yi aiki da shari'ar musulunci wajen hukunta masu karya dokokin hanya a najeriya labarin ketare kuwa an fara zaben shugaban kasa da na yan majalisa a Turkiya sai kuma a fagen wasanni inda Southampton ta koma rukunin yan dagaji a gasar Premier to kanin labaran kenan yanzu ga cikakkun su mai karatu Suleiman Hassan Minister Hotel Lantarki na Nigeria Engineer Abubakar Aliyu ya sanar da cewa an kammala aikin samar da Hotel Lantarki mai karfin megawatts 700 na Zingeru a cewar ministan tuni kamfanin rarraba Hotel Lantarki na Nigeria wato TCN a shirye yake ya karbi wutar da aka samar da gaci biyar samar da Hotel Lantarki ya kuma ce hakan zai cike gibin da ake samu na bukatar hotel lantarki a kasar nan ministan ya fada hakan ne a ranar asabar 13 ga watan mayu a jihar Neja lokacin da yake bayani bayan ziyartar duba aikin da aka kammala a lokacin ziyarar yana tare da gwamnatin jihar Abubakar Sani da kuma wasu manyan jigajigan majalisar take kula da ayyukan makama shi a kasar nan da yake karin haske ministan lantarkin ya ce an kammala dukkanin gwaje-gwaje na aikin da na'ura da ake amfani da su kuma za a kaddamar da aikin nan ba da jumawa ba a hukumance a cewar satin a shekarun 1960 rabon da yan Najeriya wato rabon da Najeriya ta yi irin wannan aikin amma sai ga shi ya samu a karkashin jagorancin shugaba Buhari haka zalika ya ce gwamnatin Najeriya ta zuba din bunjari wato hannun jari a wannan aiki na Zingeru dan ta inganta samar da hotel lantarki a kasar nan a gefe guda ya ce irin wadannan ayyuka na daga cikin buri da kudurorin shugaba Buhari na ciyar da Najeriya gaba a karkashin ikon sa baya ga samar da karin hotel lantarki ga yan Najeriya aikin a halin yanzu ya samar da ayyukan yi da dimbin yawa ga yan Najeriya da dama da kuma sannan zai samar da hanyoyin magance ambaliyar ruwa barwa a noman rani da kuma samar da ruwa wadatacce hukumar da ke kula da yan Najeriya mazauna kasashen ketare wato Nitcom a turanci ta kaice ta ce an kammala jigilar kwaso yan kasar nan da suka makale a Sudan da ke fama da rikici a ranar 15 ga watan nan ne dai wato watan April ne dai fada ya barke tsakanin sojojin kasar da dakarin RSF masu sanya da kayan sarki daruruwan mutane sun mutu yayin da Dubai suka jikkata sanadiyar yakin na Sudan hukumar da ke kula da yan gudun hijira ta majalisar dinkin duniya ta ce dubban daruruwan mutane sun fice daga muhallan su a ranar asabar 13 ga watan mai nan na shekarar 2023 ne jirgin tako iyaye sauka a filin tashin jirage na namdi aziki wai da misalin karfe 8 da rabi na dare a Abuja dauke da raguwar yan Najeriya 177 kamar yadda hukumar ta Nipcon wato hukumar ta Nipcom ta wallafa a shafinta na Twitter a ranar asabar sanarwar ta kara da cewa an kwaso fasinjojin kasar nan ne dake wato ne daga filin tashin jirage na kasa da kasa dake Port Sudan wannan zango na fasinjoji na ƙarshe shine na 15 wadda hakan ya kai jimillar mutanen da gwamnatin tarayya ta kwaso zuwa 2518 a cewar hukumar ta Nipcon 
aranar ko kuma a cewar hukumomin Najeriya babu dan Najeriya ko daya da ransa ya salwanta ya zuwa yanzu a Sudan to wani bangaren kwa hukumar jin dadin Alhazai ta kasa wato Nakon a turanta ta kaice ta bayyana cewa kamfanonin jiragen sama guda hudu na kasan nan sun bukaci a ƙara kudin hajjin bana na shekarar 2023 shugaban hukumar ta Nakon Zikrilla Hassan ne ya bayyana cewa kamfanin jiragen sun bukaci a ƙara kudin da dala 250 a cewar sa kamfanonin jiragen su ne Airpiece Azman Air da aero contractors kuma dalilin su ne neman karin yagi ni ne akan rikicin da ake yi a kasar Sudan wanda zai sanya sai sun bi doguwar hanya kafin su isa kasa mai tsarki da yake magana a birnin tarayya Abuja wajen horar da jami'an hukumar na jihohi a ranar Asabar Alhaji Hassan ya bayar da tabbacin cewa manin ya taba za su biya ko sisi ba a wato dalilin karin ya ce hukumar na kon tana duba dukkanin hanyoyin da za ta bi domin dauke wannan kari da aka samu domin sun cimma matsayar cewa duk matakin da za su dauka ba zai bukaci mani ya tashi karin biyan kudi ba wato karin biyan kudi ga hukumomin Alhazai na jihohin su ba ya kuma kara da cewa hukumar ta sanya ranar 25 ga watan mayin nan na 2023 a matsayin ranar fara jigilar mani ya tambana zuwa kasa mai tsarki mataimakin kakakin majalisar wakile na tarayyar Najeriya Right Honorable Ahmad Idris Wase ya bujire wa matsayar jam'iyyar APC na kai takarar kujerar majalisa yankin arewa maso yamma inda ya bayyana a hukumance na neman shugabancin majalisar da yake magana a wajen ayyana takarar sa a hotel din Transcorp dake birnin Abuja wasi ya kwai kwai bola tunubu inda ya bayyana cewa yanzu shi ma lokacin sa ne a kalaman sa wasi ya ce a wannan gabar zai yi amfani da kalaman shugaba bola tunubu na Emilio Kan Emilio Kan Emilio Kan Idris wasi wadda ya fito daga nan jihar Plato ya bayyana cewa dole ne jam'iyyar APC ta yi amfani da kundin tsarin mulkin Najeriya wajen tabbatar da cewa ba a ware yankin Arewa ta tsakiya ba wajen rabon mukamai duk da cewa kundin bai magana kan yadda za a raba mukaman ba wasi ya bayyana cewa yana da kyau fa a lura da cewa yankin Arewa ta tsakiya ne kawai bai taba samar da kakakin shugaba wato kakakin majalisar wakilai ba a shekaru 24 da aka yi bayan dawowa mulkin demokradiya a shekarar 1999 wasi yana daya daga cikin ƴan majalisar da ke kan gaba wajen rashin amincewa da tsarin jam'iyyar APC kan wato kujerin shugabancin majalisa sauran sun hada da Alhasan Adodogwa Muktar Betara Sada Soli da Aminu Wali fusatattun ƴan majalisar wadanda suka nuna aniyar su ta neman shugabancin majalisar wakilan dai sun hada wata kungiya mai suna Coalition of Progressive Speakership Aspirants wato COPSA a turance a takaice Babang speta yi ensan dan Nigeria Usman Al-Kaliba baya bayar da umarnin kama mawakin kasan nan shehun kuti wadda ake zargi da dukan wani dan sanda a wani bidiyo da ya karade shafukan sada zumunta an ga wani da ake zargin mawakin ne yana cin zarafin dan sandan a sanarwar da rundunar ta fitar babban speta yi ensan sandan ya ce commissioner yan sandan jihar Lagos ya gudanar da bincike kan wannan lamari Sai dai amartanin da mawakin ya mayar a wani sako da ya wallafa a shafin sa na Twitter ya ce dan sandan yayin niyyar kashe shi ne da iyalansa sannan kuma ya ce yana da shaida akan hakan mawakin kuma ya ce yana maraba da binciken da za a yi akan sa kuma zai bayar da cikakkiyar gudunmawa sannan ya bukaci babban spetan yan sandan na Najeriya da ya hukunta duk wanda aka samu da laifi inda shehun dai shine dan autan margayi fela kuti fitaccen mawakin nan na Najeriya wadda yayi suna a shekarun 1970 da kuma 1980 hukumar kiyaye hadara ta kasa a Najeriya wato FRSC ko kuma Road Safety a turance kamar yadda ake fada ta ce za ta dauki mataki kan komandanta na Bauchi kan wasu kalamai da yayi na wato hukumar da hukumar ta ce sun sabawa dokar aikin ta 
Rahota ni dai sun ambato komandan na Bauchi yana kira da asoma aiki da shari'ar musulunci wurin hukunta wadanda suka saba dokar hanya domin rage aukuwar hadura a kasan nan. Ya ce dokokin da ake amfani da su a yanzu ba su da tsauri shi yasa mutane ke jawo hadura yana mai shan alwashin amfani da shari'ar musulunci domin taimakawa wurin kiyaye hadura a fadin kasan nan. Sai dai a sanarwar da hukumar ta FRSC ta fitar a ranar Asabar ta ne san ta kanta da kalaman komandan inda ta ce ra'ayin sa ne kawai ya fada akwai bukatar jama'a su sani cewa kalaman sa baki daya ba su da alaka da matsayar hukumar kiyaye haddura ta kasa nan wato take shugaban hukumar Dauda Ali Biyu ya bukaci komandan ya koma headquarter da headquarter ta dake Abuja domin a dauki mataki da suka dace akan sa saboda kalaman sa sun saba wa ka'idar ayyukan FRSC inji sanarwar sanarwar wadda ta jaddada cewa FRSC ba hukuma ce ta addini ko bangaranci ba tana mai karawa da cewa hukuma ce ta gwamnatin tarayyar Najeriya da aka kafa akan kundin tsarin mulki ba shari'a ba ana dai yawan samun haddaran ababan hawa a Najeriya lamarin da ke sanadiyar mutuwar mutane da dama a duk shekara to labarin ketare kuwa an so mazaben shugaban kasa da na'am majalisa a fadin kasar Turkiya da safiyar Lahadi shugaban kasa mai ci Recep Tayyip Erdogan yana neman wani wa'adi sannan daga bangaren adawa akwai Kamal Kicigrolu na Nations Alliance da kuma Sinan Ogun wato Ogan na Ata Alliance su ma duk suna cikin takarar hukumar zaben Turkiya mai zaman kanta wato SYK a turanci a takaice ta sanar da cewa sama da ƴan kasar miliyan 94 ne suka cancanta su jefa kuriya a zaben na ranar 14 ga watan mayan shekarar 2023 daga ciki har da masu zabe sama da miliyan 3 da ke da kasa wato da ke kasashen waje inda za a kammala jefa kuri'a da misalin karfe 5 a gogon Turkiya haka kuma ana saran sakamakon farko zai so mu shigowa ba da jimawa ba ana bukatar masu zabe a Turkiya su nuna katin shaidar suna dan kasa da sauran katittukan da ake bukata a rumfar zabe domin jefa kuri'a daga nan ne ake ba wato ake ba mai zabe takardin jefa kuri'a biyu ya da shugaban kasa sai kuma daya na ƴan majalisa hukumar zaben kasar ta bayyana cewa ba a yarda masu zabe su dauki hoto ko bidiyo ba a wuraren zaben kuma ana bukatar su su bar wayoyin sa a waje bayan an kammala zaben kuri'u da aka jefa na shugaban kasa ana kirga su a gaban committee zaben wadda ya kunshi jami'an hukumar zabe da kuma wakilan jam'iyu hada da jama'ar da suka yi zaben to a wani labarin na ketare kwa shugaban kasar Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky ya gana da Papa Roma Francis a yayin wata ziyarar da ya kai Vatican a ranar Asabar wannan ne dai karo na biyu da Volodymyr Zelensky ki ke ganawa da Papa Roma Francis mai shekaru 86 bayan irin wannan ziyarar da ya kai a watan Fabrairin shekarar 2020 shugaban dariƙar katolikan ta duniya Papa Roma Francis ya sake yin kira na ganin an kawo ƙarshen zubar da jini a wannan yaki tsakanin Russia da Ukraine a daya gefen shugaba shugaban Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky ya gana da shugaban kasar Italia Sergio Mattarella da shugaban gwamnatin kasar Georgia Meloni Zelensky ya kuma yi amfani da damar domin isar da godiyar sa ga hukumomin Italia ganin yadda suke goyen bayan kasar Ukraine a mamayar da Russia ke yi mata to a fagen wasanni kuwa kungiyar Southampton ta zama kungiya ta farko da ta koma rukunin yan dagaji wato relegation a kasar a gasar Premier League ta Ingila hakan na zuwa ne bayan da ta sha kai a hannun Fulham da ci biyu da babu kana shekara wato shekarar Southampton 11 kenan a gasar ta Premier League duk da ta fice daga gasar ta Premier ya rage wa Southampton wasa biyu yan wasan Fulham Carlos Vinicius da Alexandru Mitrovic Mitrovic shine su wato sune suka ciwa kungiyar kwallayen ta Prime Minister Britania Rishi Sunak wadda masoyin kungiyar ta Southampton ne ya halarci wasan da ya kai ga ficewar ta daga gasar ta Premier Ingila 
to a wani wasan wato labarin wasannin Lionel Messi zai dawo bugawo kungiyar sa ta PSG kwallo a ƙarshen makon nan dake karewa PSG za ta kara da wato ajashio wacce take ta wacce take ta ta ga ta ga afilin wasana pass wato Park the Prince a ranar Asabar Messi bai samu damar bugawo PSG wasan ta na baya ba saboda an dakatar da shi kan kin zuwa a tisaye inda yayi tafiya zuwa Saudiya ba tare da neman izinin kungiyar ta PSG ba bayane dai sun yi nuni da cewa yayi tafiyar ce domin gudanar da wani talla a kasar Saudiya yayin da ya rage mata wasanni hudu PSG na saman teburin gasar La Liga wato gasar League 1 inda ta ba lens ta zarar maki shida to wannan labari na tagwayen wasanni ko kuma rahotanni na tagwayen wasanni sune suka kawo mu ƙarshen labaran da muka yau mai kallo ta na di a daidai wannan lokaci daga nan tashar Unity TV dake birnin Joss din Jahar Plato a tsakiyar arewacin tarayyar Najeriya amma kamar yadda muka saba tunatar da ku za ku iya ci gaba da bibiyar kayatattun shirye-shirye mu domin kallon sa a kafafan mu nisa da zumunta da suka hada da Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube da sauran su duk a Unity FM TV. Amma da dun kowa da kowa musamman injiniyoyin da suka tabbatar da zuwan labaran kan kwalbar talabijin din ku awal Ibrahim GSM da abokin aikin shi Muhammad Shamsuddin Kabir Albashir ni ne Suleiman Hassan da na tace na karanto labaran nake mana fatan alkhairi kasance lafiya. I was the head boy in my primary school, senior prefect and best graduating student in my secondary school. But drug abuse almost ruined my life. I was on an average of two grams of cocaine per day. I was taking eight amples of pentazosine daily. European shisha, cocaine. I became a user, a dealer and a gangster. I saw other users drowning. I knew I didn't want to be like them, but I was already trapped. My family disowned me. My employment was terminated. I sold my car, sold my house. I'll go out well dressed and return shoeless, shirtless in exchange for drugs. I was seeing things that were not real and I won't stab myself because I felt something crawling under my skin. I contacted NDLE and started therapy. I spent three months in therapy. I spent eight months. It's easy to relapse, but your mind has to be stronger than the cravings. Drugs are does not love you. You are not the one using drugs. Drugs are the one using you. Say no to drug abuse. La Baran Junior. La Baru da mutumansu. Babu Bangaranchi. Chicken gida da kasashan waje.